We're not going to waste much time on an intro here. Today we're going to be doing some gaming tests as well as multimedia. We're talking about the speaker, we're talking about the screen here on the TCL 30V 5G. Let's get into those tests right now. All right, here we are in PUBG Mobile. Let's jump into our settings if I can remember where they are. They changed this interface. I feel like every time I go to test this game, the interface uh, has in fact changed. I don't know. There we go. Settings. Okay. Let's go into the settings, graphics, and audio, and you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. HD is where we're at. Frame rate is on high. Um, we're not going to try to, I don't know if we even can. Yeah, can't really change it. Okay, so HD is where we're going to be at. We're going to jump into uh, Erangel or Erangel, depending on how you want to pronounce that, and this is just going to be solo so let's see what the performance is like i'm also going to turn up the volume here a wee bit so we can kind of get a sense of what it does in fact sound like as well i'll try to keep the screen facing up as best i can so that you guys can actually uh, see what's going on um i mean standing here in the little intro area performance seems totally fine i do need to reduce the sensitivity that might be a little bit better all right so we are still in the pre-match lobby. Let's jump ahead to the plane. All right, we are in the plane flying overhead. Performance is remaining nice and smooth. I mean, this, this, I don't know exactly what the frame rate is, but it's very smooth. This is a 90 hertz refresh rate screen, and it feels like it's actually utilizing that in this particular game. We're going to fly for a little ways until we find a spot that I am... Um, happier with and then we'll get on the ground all right we are flying out of the plane now and we're not really dropping any frames at all and this is the area in PUBG where if you're going to have problems this tends to be the area where it's going to happen you're seeing the entire map from up here and this little phone this cheap little phone with four gigs of RAM not having any issues at all just chewing through this game pretty impressive so far i also want to say that i'm actually pleasantly surprised with the stereo speakers here in my unboxing i was concerned it was just going to be mono but this amplified earpiece is actually doing a really good job the audio is is quite convincing so we are on the ground now and as you saw there not a lot in terms of, of frame drops. There's some shooting happening to my left, probably in that. So there's a guy right there. We're going to get in this building here. See if we can find a gun. Is that a gun? No. Lots of stuff. No guns. There's a pistol. That's something, I guess. See if we can kill this guy. Okay, he's dead. I think that might have been a real person, too. It's always hard to tell in this game what's a bot and what's not a bot. But I think that was an actual person. Now, here another one, too. So we're going to go up here. We're going to load our, our, our shotgun. And we're going to see if we can kill this other guy, too, before we exit out of this. Well, there's the second guy. PUBG Mobile running absolutely flawlessly. Call of Duty Mobile, a game I've played uh, almost uh, none at all. But here we are in COD Mobile. Nuketown is apparently a thing that is in this game. That is rather interesting. So we're in Nuketown. Um, yeah, select. Okay. How are we running here? This is on the HD texture pack as well. No other settings were changed. And, I mean, look. This is running... Absolutely flawlessly. There are no frame drops at all. Am I, am, I, am I meant to ADS in this game or am I meant to just hip fire everybody? Because I feel like hip firing everybody is working just fine. Who is, who is, are they shooting at me from, from back here? Bots, man. Contact with 
So I'm going to assume that most of these are bots. But, I mean, look, you can see here, this is running absolutely flawlessly. If you're wondering if this thing can play Call of Duty Mobile, I, I feel like this has answered the question pretty well. Now, the question of, can I play Call of Duty Mobile? Entirely different question. But this is absolutely smooth as can be. No frame drops, just, just flawless. Here's a game that actually just came out on Android. This is Apex Legends. And now in the other games, I've been actually dropping into an actual match. But in Apex, because it won't let me go away from the three-person team, I would have to be on a team of three, and I'm not going to finish the match. So instead, I'm going to just go to the, uh, the firing range so that I can just run around and test performance that way without screwing over a team that's probably trying to play competitively. That seems like a mean, wrong thing to do. And this will serve the purpose just fine of, of showing off the performance. And I, I have tested in an actual game that I did finish where I wasn't you know, sitting at my table holding in an awkward position. And performance matches up what you're going to see here. And that performance is um, fantastic. It runs as well as any of the other games that we have tested so far, and that is to say that it runs pretty much perfectly. We've got our ammo here. Let's ADS, and you can see, man, controlling recoil is weird on a touch screen. <laughs> But you can see you're running around, jumping, uh, everything is, is running astonishingly well. And if I'm being honest with you, playing games on this device, which is a device that is running, I believe it's a Snapdragon 480, 4 gigs of RAM, you would think that this thing would be slow, that it would not be able to perform well at all in these sorts of scenarios. But I really feel like you couldn't be more wrong in assuming that. This thing handles all of this stuff shockingly well. And if you go to the multitasking view here, you'll see what it says here at the bottom. Uh, four gigs of RAM, 894 available. Because I believe, I mean, basically it's going into a gaming mode and it is conserving RAM, conserving performance. And because of that, it works really, really well. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly not dropping frames in these games. If you see any moment where it looks like it's stuttering or something, it's probably what I'm filming with instead of the game itself, because I'm telling you, this is as smooth as can be. I do want to do a speaker test as well on this, because we want to talk about multimedia in addition to gaming. So I'm going to use this song here, Run Around by Blues Travel Traveler, a very dynamic sort of song. We're going to pump up the volume and my microphone. You can kind of see it's about right there, so it's slightly off screen. Actually, I'm going to leave it about right there so that it is, is visible as to how close it is. We're going to set it on the table, and we're going to let this play for about five seconds, and then we're going to compare it to some other devices. So let's see what this sounds like now. Okay, so I'll tell you there's a little bit of distortion at high volume. It's not super, super clear. It is relatively loud. I'm not blown away. I'm not super disappointed. Let's compare it to a device that I think has pretty average speakers, which is the Surface Duo 2. We'll keep the distance about the same. We'll crank up the volume to max as well. And that is a better sounding speaker. Duo 2 has much more bass, much more impact. It's just a fuller, less distorted sound. And then if we really want to take this to a level that is unfair, we will grab a phone that probably has the best speakers of any phone in my house, which would be a Galaxy Z Fold. This thing is the speaker king as far as I'm concerned, and we'll compare it as well. So there you go. There's kind of a quick speaker comparison to where you're going to be at. It's not terrible. It's not fantastic. It is somewhere in the middle. Let's jump over to YouTube and we'll kind of get an experience here of what that is like. Here's a video that I posted the other day. We'll go full screen here. We've talked about Google I.O. quite a bit already on 
this channel, but we're going to milk this event a little bit more, and I think we're going to do it in a kind of interesting way. This I hope the other ways were kind. So, in terms of the speakers, again, they are loud, and that's fine. They do distort at high volumes. They get a little almost staticky a little bit. So, not the best speaker system in the world, but they're stereo, and they're pretty loud. What about the screen, though? I actually think that the screen looks pretty good for a budget phone like this. I'm really not upset with how this screen looks. It's quite clear. We zoom in a bit further, that looks pretty good. So I, I would say that overall, the multimedia consumption experience, I would say is pretty acceptable. The speakers aren't great, but this screen is massive. The colors look pretty good. The details look pretty good. Multimedia, I would say, is going to be a decent experience here. I do want to point out that you're seeing these two screens looking like two very different colors. This looks kind of like a more bluer, a, a bluer green. This looks like a more, a yet more yellow green. In person, they're really not that far apart. Let's crank up this brightness a little bit and see if that, yeah, if there's something about the way that the camera is seeing this, because this, they, they don't look as dissimilar in my eye than what they look like here in the camera. There's something though that we can look at. It's called NXT Vision. So let's see here. Can we can we split screen these? I can drag it up there, and that should let it be a floating window. And let's go back to NXT Vision. And let's see if we turn off image enhancement. Does that change it? No, no. If we go to natural. Okay, so natural. Okay, there we go. So if I put it on natural they become much more similar in terms of their color profile. So that might be something that you, you may or may not want to do in person. They look closer to the camera. They look almost identical. So there you go. That is a quick rundown of some high-end gaming and the multimedia experience here on the TCL 30V 5G. This thing is available right now on Verizon if this is a budget phone that you've been looking into. Hopefully that does give you a bit more information about what you can expect. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.